Do you think those horses trusted you the very first day you came? No, no, definitely not. Did you trust the horses the first day you came? No, you didn't. That's right. So you were building trust, and now over the days, how are you feeling now about the horses? A little bit better, a little more confident, right? We started the program about nine years ago because there was such a demand for uh, not only youth at risk programs but for alternative learning programs and then the teaching part of it came with the adult program about two years after we started the youth program because people were wondering so much what we were doing. Take two steps forward Janice. Oh my goodness. Oh no, no. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So, <laughs> she stepped right on. She's sorry. Okay. So what was wrong with my communication there? That wasn't that good. <laughs> it's not that good. I think it's a cool school and I think my partners think it's a cool school because it is innovative. It's something that we couldn't find when we started Equine Assisted Learning. We couldn't find a course that would teach us how to do this. We wanted to do it so badly. So we thought, you know what, we're going to actually develop our own program and we're going to make it just the way we want it. And it's going to be based in uh, learning objectives and uh, outcomes. And so the curriculum is very easy to follow. And I think it makes it unique because anyone can do it. Okay, and you're going to find the long rope. Find the long rope. There you go. And hold that. Put it in your hand the way it should be so it's not looped around your hand or nothing. Just coil it up. Pretend you're leading SpongeBob. Equine assisted learning and equine guided programs are used with uh, adults as well as young children. It, it actually goes the scope of the sky is the limit as to how you can use it. But it's used with horses and facilitators guide the journey through to an objective right to an outcome in each exercise. So there is a very strict curriculum that you follow. Our school has uh, two programs that run here. The first one is the youth program that teaches youth at risk and alternative learning children to uh, hands-on learn life skills through horses. The second program that we have that runs is an adult program that actually teaches adults to do equine assisted uh, guided programs and uh, learn to facilitate them and take them home and start careers in equine facilitation. I decided to become a facilitator because I found this program so interesting, how they use horses and the way they work with children, it just really appealed to me. I am also a research assistant for a research project that is happening with the University of Regina, Saskatchewan and Calgary and it's in the final stages. It is researching the effects that equine assisted learning has on youth. This is Frosty. He's one of our most experienced teachers here and he is 22 years old this year and uh, he used to be a jumping horse actually in his uh, career and he's now retired and he was donated to our program. This is Doc. We call him No Boundaries Doc because he does have some boundary issues. He is 10 years old this year so he's one of our younger horses actually and uh, he's a very good teacher of boundary issues with the children as well as respect and trust. This is Misty and she is about 18 years old this year and uh, she was a trail riding horse in her career and she was donated to our program as well and she is a very very nice teacher here. This is Charlie, he is 20 years old this year. He was a 4-H horse used extensively by children and he is now retired so Charlie is an excellent teacher of trust and uh, the kids really like him because he's very cute and likes to be cuddled and, and brushed and snuggled with so he's a great teacher. Some of the unique things that you learn here is how to read a horse's body language, how to facilitate because as a facilitator you're not teaching these children, you're learning to help guide them on their journey using the horse as the teacher so that's something that you're not going to learn anywhere else. It comes a lot easier from a horse instead of me saying oh you have a bad attitude the horses are actually saying you know your attitude is needs to be checked out there and the, the children will take it adults will take it from a horse and kind of uh, do some self-reflection on that these horses are comfortable because of you if they are uncomfortable it's because of something that's happening do you think the horses knew you were blindfolded you think so yeah because you'll see there's a little change if they think you're blindfolded they'll either get more cautious or sometimes more upset it depends on what's happening in the team I think one of the best things about equine assisted learning is that the environment is one of uh, positive reinforcement we try and go above and beyond you know whenever we can help out and make a difference in these children's lives we try and do so
A little boy came into the program. His class had already been here a couple of times and he came in with the class and he sat down at the back and he never looked up when I was talking during the briefing. Very quiet and he went out into the arena and he chose Simba as his horse that he was going to have and Simba was an older horse that we had at the time and I sent Dominique with this little boy because I didn't really know what was going to happen and she chatted with him throughout the day and they did the exercise and when he came to the back I remember seeing him come to the back and he kind of sat a little taller and I kind of kneeled down in front of him and I said so how was your first day here and he looked right at me with these beautiful brown eyes and he said to me I have never been this happy for this long in my whole life.